Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The sounds of Miracle of Sound with my revolution. Uh, better than the game it was based on, let me put it that way. So welcome to a research stream. We're going to be taking a look at Sunless Sea, which is coming out of Early Access in a couple of days. I happen to have the complete build here. So we're going to be able to look at what it's going to be like in a couple of days. And I've been interested in this game for a while, but obviously since it's been in Early Access, I've been avoiding it. Because I, I just on principle don't really look at Early Access games. And mostly the reason for that is, simply, there are too many finished games to look at. So, here we have Sunless Sea. This is something of a kind of roguelite-ish game. You have a boat, there is a an ocean, a large ocean, and it's full of horrible things. It's, uh, some people have compared it a little bit to FTL. Uh, I don't know if I would say such a thing. Mostly just due to the fact that this is about exploring a map, as opposed to FTL, which is basically a set of encounters that are strung together through a kind of spider's web progression. So, it's a little bit interesting, to say the least. So, we're gonna, gonna have a little bit of a, a bash of it. I've, I've run two captains so far, and they both got horribly murdered very fast. So, I don't really know what I'm doing. But, we will jump into it regardless. Okay, so let us continue from where we left off. We'll have a look and see what it's all about. Also, we need fraps turned off. That doesn't actually need to be running at all, does it? There we go. Okay, so you start in fallen London, which has apparently been stolen by bats. That is the literal plot of the game, is London was stolen by bats and sank beneath the ocean. There is now a big ocean, and the sun seems to have disappeared. Uh, things. That, that seems to be the extent of it. I have no idea what is happening. But you start off in London with a very basic ship, this one particular, the Legaia class steamship, which has a basic deck gun, and that's really about it. There are other ships you can get, as you can see, you can get like all the way up to Dreadnoughts if you can afford them, but I probably can't. And you will attempt to recruit officers. I actually have started with some, which is nice. Uh, it's because I've played through a couple of times and I kind of inherited them from my previous crew. So I have things here. Also a mascot, a comatose ferret. We can actually speak to it if you like. And play, that eye roll says play. I played once in the happy warrens of London before you installed me in this floating coffin and made me eat dried food. Damn your play. It's an eloquent eye roll. This, this game also has a bunch of random text that will come at you, like just little pieces of story, which is really interesting. So I'm not 100% sure what's going on with that. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a setting called Fallen London that they're using for this. And it's a very odd one, to say the least. Like, it's a bit kind of steampunk-esque, but there's a there's a lot of horror kind of Lovecraftian stuff tossed in there for good measure. So I'm not 100% sure what is up with it, really. All right. So, London, London, London. Let's see what we can get. So I believe we've picked up a quest from the Admiralty. So if I look in my journal, I might be able to find something. There we go. Uh, my ambition is to become a venerated explorer, and I've been commissioned to go and retrieve strategic intelligence. From Galder's Morn in the Corsair's Forest, which is apparently quite close. And I also have a quest to take a tomb colonist to Vendabite. Alright, cool. So we have those things. And our ship is also equipped with some basic stuff. So we have engines and a deck gun, which is not very good. But it can fight. So we will, we will see it. And there is also... A currency system called Echoes, which you can acquire, but there's other stuff called, uh, I think, uh, Fragments, which form into secrets, and secrets can be exchanged with your officers for skills. So it's a bit of a weird one. A lot of the skill systems are, are, are called very strange things indeed. If I speak to my chief engineer, I can increase my veils, for instance. I can trade a secret for veils, and veils is apparently kind of stealth skill. There's also pages, which is some sort of diplomacy skill, I believe. And there's a bunch of stuff that you can do with your, your officers, and they will give you a bunch of bonuses. I would like to know what my first officer would like to see. He can increase my mirrors, which is, I don't know what mirrors do whatsoever, but again, it's a skill. Ah, you want to go to Frostfound? Yes, I recall the last time I went to Frostfound. It was my previous character. All my guys got murdered. So I'm not sure that's a good idea, but, you know, we, we could do that. Hmm. Okay. All right, so we're about ready to rock and roll, I think. We're... There's the Labyrinth of Tigers, and there's nothing I can offer it right now, so... There's all sorts of things that you can do, like, you can visit various places, try to hire on more crew, for instance. I could do that. Let's, uh, let's get some more crew. I gained three crew. I lost 30 Echoes in order to do that. So I bought on some more crew, so that should help me out a little bit. And I think we're about ready to go. Alright, 
cool. So let us now launch. Okay. Yeah, I've been all the way north before, like, and I, I went off the map and all my crew were killed. But I did survive at least for a little while longer. Alright, this is my steamship. It's rubbish. <laughs> Now, I can send out a bat, the Z-Bat, to scout around and try and find areas of the map, but so far I know where nothing is at all. The Z-Bat is telling me that Hunter's Keep is some distance to the northeast. And if I recall correctly, that might be the direction I need to go for this uh, particular passenger that I have. Now, yeah, this is also a game that has a lot of uh, psychological elements in it. So, terror is a, a big factor in this, so you do want to watch out for that. Let's have a look at the journal and see what our objectives are. So, we need to go to Corsair's Forest, and we also need to go visit Vendor Bite, if I recall correctly. I don't know if the map's the same every time. I think it might be, because I keep remembering Hunters Keep always being there. Maybe it's just an, uh, just part of the map is the same. So, you're burning through fuel. If you run out of fuel, then you're dead. So, well, you're not dead, but you have a couple of options, like, sacrifice crew to the sea gods in order to possibly get out of this. Uh. Aha! That's a, that is a pirate steam pinner, so we're going to fight that because we could get some items from it, and it's not very powerful. So you charge up your deck weapon, and what the, what it does is you try and keep the lights on the enemy to present a firing solution. You can fire before you're ready, but you have a chance of missing. So I could fire now, and it turns out I'm actually sink him and take minimal damage, so that's okay. And then once you sink him, you can loot him. We have a cache of curiosities. Let's open the cache of curiosities. Let's have a, have a look at what's in it. We have a firkin of prisoner's honey. I don't know what that is. And, okay. This is what they call prisoner's honey. Rung by the lamplighter bee from the exile's rose. I wonder who made up all these names, remarks Abel Seaman Gargett. Someone who has read a sight too many books, I'm thinking. That's not a good accent, but there we go. So, yes, we, we have that. There's also a swarm of bats over there. You can eat the bats, although it increases your terror. So, yeah, go figure. Terra's this meter right here. The longer you're out in the dark sea, the scarier shit gets. You've kind of got to go back to port and have shore leave, essentially. And, of course, you're working on supplies. If you run out of supplies, you end up having to eat each other. I think we're going to engage the Bat Swarm. We have low Terra right now, so we can get some free supplies from the Bat Swarm without taking too much damage. You will take a little bit of damage, but not, not like a huge amount. I do need better guns, but I've not found a place to get them yet. Yes, this is exactly what happened on the Metal Cruise. We fought, we fought bats with deck guns. It was kind of great. I do let me know if the sound levels are wrong, by the way. Uh, no one's complained so far, but do let me know. Okay, we're going to eat the bats. Let's go and find the bat corpses. You can also, if you're too scared, you can dispose of the bat corpses. But we're going to eat the bats. There we go. You gained one supply and one terror. That's worth. One supply is worth like 15 echoes, so I'll do that. Ah, a port. Carissa's Point. We can maybe dock there and see if there is something to find. All of these ports have different events and things that you can do. Uh, ah, this is Vendabite. Cool. Yeah. So this is the same place as it was last time. I'm not sure if um, some of the ocean is randomly generated, but this is the same place that it was in uh, the last playthrough. But we can dock here. Uh, yes, there are sea monsters. There are many sea monsters, and they will murder you horribly. So we're going to go dock here, and we're going to deliver our passenger and see what happens. If I recall correctly, Vendabite is, in, is actually in a city of undead, essentially. Tomb colonists, there we go. Days of shrooms and roses, you brought this decaying immigrant north. Now what? The new tomb colonist surveys Vendabite, shaking her head. It won't do, she says. It won't do at all. Alright. I'm a poet, apparently, so this is actually a different option based on my uh, the characteristics of my character. Uh, my I was previously a failed poet before I decided to sail the Z, as they call it. Yeah, the map is consistent. Okay, that's good to know. That's uh, So it's not randomly generated. All right. So apparently, being a poet actually gives me a different option. I had no idea this place would be quite so unprepossessing. Perhaps we can liven it up a little bit yet. If only I knew a healthy Z captain. Bring 10 units of mushroom wine to Vanderbite. Okay, so we need to get the undead drunk. Okay, yes. And I'm not sure where we're going to find that, but we will see. Now we can actually access all the other stuff here as well, so we can explore the area. You can gather information on various ports and deliver it to other ports because they want to know the news, basically. So that's something that you can do. Uh, who's got who, What's going on? We have a port report of Vendabite. Okay, so we can report that to the Admiralty, perhaps. 
What else can we do? We can explore Vendabite. And uh, we have discovered... Ah, we could have a picnic, if we so desire. Or we can take on a tough challenge. Your mirror's quality gives you 31% chance of success. I am not going to do that. That it doesn't seem like it's worthwhile. Let's have a picnic. There we go. We lost one supply. We lost two Terra. Okay. There we go. You and your comrades find stones to perch on and munch lava bread, truffles, and herring. Someone passes a bottle of Greyfields, an adequate vintage, and white crickets buzz in the weeds. The, the writing in this game is pretty fucking good, if you hadn't already guessed, by the way. It's really quite interesting. So I'll be reading a lot of it. Well, we, we didn't disconnect. Everything's fine. I'm not sure why uh, people... Are... Oh, oh, you're making the picnic joke. Okay, I hate all of you. Right, just, just making sure that you're not doing some silly things. Uh... All right. Okay. What else is there that we can we can visit the first curator? He is responsible for the preservation of the tomb colonies. It's been much longer. It has been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. Okay, so I can have words with him. The first curator gives audience. The first curator. Uh, yeah. Okay, we already know that. There we go. No more light. The ob ob that is not even a real word. The obsequious steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door and you step into near darkness. A pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzzed on a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bandaged, a bandaged shape, no larger than a child, lies crumpled on the couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Okay, so we can ask about various things. We can maybe take a commission. We can listen to his whispered request. He wants... Hmm, he wants colors. Seven colors. All right, fair enough. So that's a gathering quest of some sort. Yeah, we can accept that, I suppose. What's the harm in that? Uh, it collapses, rustling back onto the couch. Thank you. This poor flesh thirsts for colors. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the door. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book, yes, the book. Uh, he hands you a slim, illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. He will, will all be grateful if you can do this one last favor. I have no idea how to do any of those, <laughs> but I will I will attempt it regardless. Okay. Obsequious is apparently obedient or attentive to an excess or servile degree. Interesting. There you go. You have now learned a new word. We have education on this stream sometimes. Occasionally. A bit. Hmm. Well, that seems like a, a fun ship, but I can't afford it at all. So, we're not going to have any of that. Alright, what's up with the shops here? Is there anything that we can actually pick up? Ah, they were asking for wine, weren't they? Oh, they don't have any, but you can sell to them. Okay, so we need to find a place that will actually allow us to grab one of those. So, we should probably... We're cool on fuel and supplies, actually, so we should be alright there. Alright. Yeah, no problems. Okay, so I think that's pretty much what there is to do in Vendabite. So, we can get out of here and go and explore a little bit more. Hmm. I do. I do wonder exactly where the the other things are. Let's launch. There we go. Also, do we have enough fragments for a secret yet? That would be interesting. I'd like to. I'm gonna have a word with our chief engineer over here. See what he has to say for himself. I can invite him to dine with you. I can increase my veils. Okay. Yes. Uh, we'll we'll go with veils for the time being. I suppose. There we go. So I've exchanged a secret for a buff in stats, which will hopefully be helpful at some point. Let's speak to the weasel. It's a ferret, but I'm going to call it a weasel anyway. Oh, it, it has nothing to say for itself. That's a swarm of bats. Let's shoot it for food. Our terror's down to zero, so we might as well take it. We had a picnic earlier, so I'm sure we can afford to eat the bats this time. So you can kind of try and outmaneuver them, but you can't really move around that fast. So it's a little bit difficult. The combat so far is very basic, but I imagine that's due to the lack of equipment. All right, we are going to eat the weasels. They're not weasels. Why is everything weasels all of a sudden? I just want these supplies, frankly. I don't see any harm in not getting these supplies. Like, my terror level's so low that you might as well farm the bats for food. Take a bit of a risky shot there. Wasn't quite ready. But it did the job. Why not? Yes, we'll have a bat picnic. It will be delicious. 
There we go, we now have six supplies for free. Can't complain about that. Alright, well, we- so our current objective seems to be to find a place to source some mushroom wine. And also to find a particular port which we need to report on. Which is, uh, Cors uh Galder's Morn in Corsair's Forest. Apparently it's quite close by, but I have no idea where. We're maybe getting a little bit out of- let let's go back to our- Let's go back to closer to London and then explore to the east instead. Because apparently it's not too far out of the way. Fe February the 11th, 1888. The air trembles. A uh, breath of change passes. Every time you uh, explore one of these islands, every time you find one, you get fragments of secrets, which can then be traded in for stats. That's my understanding of it. Tanachuk. Is that a port? Doesn't appear to be. If there isn't a, a kind of green area around it... Ooh. Oh! Hello! Let's shoot that! It's a big, giant enemy crab, by the looks of it. I will happily loot it for stuff. There we go. If it doesn't have a little green area... I'm, I've got five fuel. I'm fine. I've got 65% left in this barrel. I'm all good. There we go. Hmm. Dissect it for knowledge or butcher it for supplies. We get a 100% chance of success for knowledge. So, let's do that. There we go. Ah, you've gained a new fragment and you've succeeded in a pages challenge. Okay. All right, well, hopefully that was helpful. We didn't really need the supplies. We're good on fuel. So, as I was saying, yes, if there's not, like, this kind of green circle of light, you can't dock at a port. So, there are hotkeys, yes. I just don't know what... I think deck, uh, it's just hotkey to number one. Everything's hotkeyed. Let's send out the bat and see if they can find anything. There are no islands within the Z-Bats range. Okay, so we're, we're kind of going to sail back towards London and see what we can find. That wasn't a dangerous sea monster. The further you go out, the more ridiculous they get. Yeah. Here the wilder airs mingle with the airs of the near reaches. Demo's Gate, named for a navigator lost above. How did his bones come below? Very mysterious. Not that I have any fucking clue what it's talking about, but mysterious nonetheless. We're getting discoveries here, which is all good. Yeah, one fragment is pretty bad. I'm getting like 50 every time I explore a new island, so... I don't know exactly. That challenge was rubbish. But I guess, you know, it's the kind of roguelite thing that's going to have some... some degree of risk involved. When your terror fills up, people start going insane and murdering each other. So you might want to not... It's not really a roguelike. It has a it has a very set map apparently, so it has some random elements. It's more it's just kind of more of an adventure game really. It actually reminds me more of interactive fiction to some degree, but it's got a lot of stats and equipment that you can have. It's a fairly unique game. The genre is, I w I would not claim it's a roguelite or even roguelike of any description really. I don't think that's a good assessment of the genre. I'm just not sure what a good assessment of the genre is as of yet. Just more of a kind of freeform adventure game. Reminds me a little bit of Sid Meier's Pirates, only a lot fucking weirder. No, it's not a paid promotion. <laughs> you realize I can't legally do that, right? If this was a paid promotion, I would have disclosed it. Because, you know, my career is not worth risking for some shit like that. I haven't done a paid promotion in months. I don't take that many of them. Only the really interesting ones. Anything that lets me do a tournament and beat up Jesse Cox, now that's the kind of thing I like to do for money. I mean, hell, who wouldn't? Uh, this game is not actually in early access. This game comes out on the 6th, and I have the full build. Yeah, star controls are good. It looks like I can dock with this ship. Okay. Well, I'm not going to attempt to fight it. That thing looks scary. But yeah, I mean, Sunless Sea is out in two days, and I have the review build, which is out of early access. So, let's dock with it. Okay, a light ship. Well, that's convenient, I suppose. I wonder what's up with that. Uh, if the website says the map changes every time you play, then I don't agree. Uh, I've seen the same things three times in the same places. I imagine that the, the randomization of anything is probably like creatures and ships you encounter, uh, moving objects, and possibly some of the quests that you have available at various ports. But no, I mean, the islands seem to be in the same places. Unless you can, like, reset it. Because uh, there's something called the legacy system, so every time you die, you can kind of inherit some stuff from the previous captain. I wonder if, like, having a legacy means that the map stays the same, because you're technically in the same world. I don't know. 
This is why I'm doing research stream, to try and figure this stuff out. Okay. Speak to the crew for news of home or purchase fuel. Twice the normal price? Fuck that. Uh, I'm heading back to London to get that anyway. The problem is I don't- I haven't actually managed to make a lot of money yet. So we're working on it. Yeah. Okay, so we can actually give recent news and trade that. So we've lost five Terra. Cool. And we get a Z story, which I assume can be traded at a port for something. All right, so that's pretty much what that does. And we can now leave it. All right, so how close are we to London? Pretty close. I'm, I want to explore around those waters because that's apparently where the quest is telling me to go. How often do I beat the cocks? I don't know. I have a busy life. I don't have the time. That's the reality of it. What is this? Well, there's a clue. It's called the game name and the title of the stream. <laughs> I'm sure you can figure it out. We have discovered Mutton Island. I want to go to Mutton Island. It sounds delicious. I like mutton. I don't think a lot of people appreciate mutton as a meat. Most people ignore it because it's a bit tougher than lamb, but I think if you stew mutton, it's absolutely delicious. It's got a real, like, rich flavor to it. Okay, we're going to dock with Mutton Island. Oh, there's also... A, we should fight the giant enemy crab first. And then we'll dock with Mutton Island. Um, I don't know how big the team was that made this. I imagine not very large. I know it's been in early access for quite some time. It got a little... Ow! It got a little bit of hype when it first got into early access, but the hype kind of died down, as many things do. I'm just glad the game's out now, because, again, I don't cover early access very often. I might stream it every now and again. Like, there's a couple of early access games that I'm currently playing. Darkest Dungeon is one, and uh, Distance is another. Distance is absolutely phenomenal. But I just... I, I don't really like to cover things that aren't out. Okay, we are currently fighting two crabs. Alright, shall we dissect it? We're going to dissect it again and see what happens. That's one fragment. That's rubbish. Yeah, so dissecting the crab seems like a stupid idea. You should just butcher it for food. Alright, so we're just going to get a lock on this guy. And hopefully it's just some. There we go. But yeah, I, I mean, I'm obviously going to play Darkest Dungeon because it looks like it's really my jam. Uh, but I won't cover it until it's out. Darkest Dungeon is, uh, it needs no help. I mean, it's all, they had a really smart idea of giving out what looks to be a very complete build. Cool. We have now eaten and now we're not hungry anymore. Good. Uh, giving out a very complete build to a lot of popular streamers and YouTubers early before it was available in early access. And that paid off in very well. Okay. Oh, we are almost out of fuel. Okay, so hopefully we can buy some here at Quaker's Haven. Because if we're out of fuel, then nasty things start to happen. No, there doesn't appear to be an ammunition limit of any sort, from what I can tell. Alright, we are docking. Okay. Well, we can search the supplies to try and repurpose things. Matter of luck, it could go either way. We can make sacrifices. Uh, we're not, we don't have to do any of those things, I think. There's probably a store where we can buy fuel. There we go. Yeah, we can buy only two. I hope that there's something we can trade here. Alright, once this simple fishing village was part of the London suburbs before London fell and the waters rushed in. Uh, Dying Light WTF is, is almost kind of in the place that I want it to be. I want to play just a bit more of the game before I assess it. I think, I, I think I'm in a good place to talk about it, though. Hmm. Ah. A mascot. Okay, the wretched morgue, sometimes lurking in the docks of London. Uh, does it take three supplies to get that cat? I'm not sure I want that. Well, we, we can't d drink because we have no money. Let's go and explore a little bit and wander a little way along the shore from the dock. Ah, a chancy challenge. 60% chance, but we have no money. We need literally one echo to play. Okay. A contest of riddles. Hmm. Like... We could bet, one, bet an echo on one of the simpler riddles. I would love to, but I need some cash. So there's there's got to be something. Northern egg. <laughs> You're an asshole. This would fetch 20 echoes in Fallen London if we took the prisoner's honey back. The problem is... Well, we should have enough fuel to get back to th Fallen London and sell that. 
I think that we just don't have the ability to really sell anything at this port outside of selling supplies. We could probably sell, yeah, let's sell one supplies so we've got enough to do that riddles quest. Give that a shot. All right, it's a 60% chance of success. We can go with it. Aha! You have now gained one echo and ten fragments and succeeded in the challenge. Cool. All right, well, that was minor, I suppose. Hmm, if I give an echo to the fisherman, he might give me some interesting news. Let's do that. You now have a port report of Quaker's Haven. Cool, this is the kind of thing that I can probably trade at Fallen London. We can give that a bash. All right, anything else? Yeah, we can't afford drinks, I'm afraid. Okay, so we have probably just enough fuel and supplies to make it back to London. So that should help a little bit. I'm just going to have... Yeah, these are the two captains that died. I'm going to have words with my first officer, see if I can get some... Increase my mirror's skill, for instance. That might be a good idea. There we go. All right, sweet. Okay, let's sail back to Fallen London. We're not too far away, so we shouldn't have... I think we can make it. We'll uh, power up the engines to full speed. The game does not have co-op, as far as I'm aware. It is a single-player game only. It's quite a pretty game, gotta admit. I like the aesthetic. A lot of green. I like green. Anything that glows and is green, I like. I don't know why, it's just a, it's a particular thing of mine. I just like green glowy things. Am I going to try Cities XXL? Yes, I have code for that now. Um, it's on the list. I have like a lot of stuff to look at right now. I've got to finish Dying Light. Well, uh, not finish it, you know what I mean. You know, play enough of it to really have the right opinion on it. And then I've got to look at Apothean, and I'm looking at this, and I am going to be looking at Cities XXL. And also, uh, to be or not to be, which looks really interesting. It's going to actually be a pretty good week, I think. All right, let us dock. Cool. Hmm. The revenue men. I don't have any revenue. Fuck. Her enduring majesty's customs service works closely with both the Ministry of Public Decency and the Masters of the Bazaar. Today, they have selected you for an inspection. Don't cheek them. Okay, so what options do we have? You have nothing to hide. This will reduce your suspicion if your suspicion is five or more. Okay. Declare all controlled goods. Talk your way out of the search, which involves... Okay. Set something aside. What are they going to take, I guess, is the problem. I can't, I can't do that because I don't have the ability to. So, I guess I have nothing to hide. I don't, I don't think I have anything... Yeah, I don't think there's actually anything illegal, so I think I can just do that. I am on admiralty business. I could try and talk my way out of it. I, I guess I have nothing to hide. Okay. Yep, there, so yeah, they took nothing, because there wasn't actually anything going on. Alright. Cool. Alright, let's collect messages from the harbour master, shall we? What's, are there any messages for me? I have a free evening. Good, I can trade that for something. It's weird the way that they do it, because everything is kind of like a card. So, everything that you kind of collect, a piece of news, or the ability to have a free evening. And it's almost like kind of playing a board game. So I can spend that on an event, by the looks of it. And someone would like to sign on, and something has changed in the north. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what we have. A little gift. I don't like the look of him at all. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My... What you might call mentor is very fond of adventurous Z captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation, on account of he is so fond of Z captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a dray, piled high with fuel and supplies. I mean, this all sounds good. <laughs> hmm. I don't like the look of this guy one little bit. Do you make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold or come back? It would be embarrassing. I. Hmm. I think we accept it, right? We have to. You accepted the proposal. Well, my patron hopes that you find his little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps someday you might choose to call at him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we will make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct that you might require. Good evening to you. Ten fuel and five supplies. But I have now increased my suspicion. Okay. So I have accepted an offer from a shadowy figure. Interesting. 
All right, well, it gave me fuel and supplies. I'm not complaining. I needed those. So I'll do that. Okay, London, London, London. What do we have for you? So they'll pay for information. I'm not sure if there's any information that I can give them. Uh, actually, there is quite a lot. I have Quaker's Haven, Port Report, and Vendabite. Been trying the original uh, rubbery lumps, have we? There we have. You've gained one fuel and favors and echoes. Cool. Okay. And what has Vendabite been up to? Fuel favors. Good. Good. Okay. So, you see, this is what I was not doing prior to this. Like, it, it, it seems to me like you have to frequently go back to Fallen London in order to actually survive because you're not going to find that much out there. You've got to trade information and secrets for favors and things like that. So, cool. Yeah, all right. So, I'm in a better position now, I think. I have a free evening that I could spend in London doing something. And I have fragments and scraps of lore and things like that. So, it's all good. All right. I don't think there's anything I can give to the Labyrinth of Tigers. So, let's uh, explore London. We could visit... No, we can't visit the university. We need a secret in order to do that. So, hmm. We could carouse the Wolfstack docks. Pretty good odds. 80% chance of success for doing this. This will reduce your terror. You might run into trouble or romance. Oh, okay. All right. And we can't hire on more crew right now because we have too many. And we could all we need to recruit somebody. Okay, yeah, let's uh, talk to this person. Who awaits your attention? Engage an officer, the genial magician. Oh my god, these guys take a lot of shit. All right, uh, yes, I I don't think we can't hire any of these, can we? Okay, so never mind. All right, let's see what else we can do. We should carouse, I think. We should see if we can find romance at the docks. And by romance, it's probably scabies. A strange night out. You wake in the back room of Gaston's lamprey, head pounding. You had something to drink, but beyond that, it's a little hazy. Your knuckles are bloody. Your blood, you think, and your shirt bloody likewise. Probably not yours, unless your blood is slick and greenish. You've had better nights out. A difficult brew, Gaston says gnomically. You have lost a free evening. We lost ten echoes. We gained recent news. And we lost some terror. So, that wasn't very good, was it? But never mind. Okay, fair enough. Alright, we will leave port in a moment. I'm going to take a quick break, if you don't mind. And then we'll be right back with yet more Sunless Sea. Which, mostly, is me reading to you. I guess. I hope you're okay with that. Alright then, let's get back to a little bit of Sunless Sea, which is, for the most part, reading, which I'm entirely okay with. Uh, I hope that... People enjoy it. I'm feeling a lot better today. My tongue is not ravaged the way that it was. It helps that I'm mostly swilling a lot of uh, lidocaine. <laughs> but yeah, whatever works. I've become quite the dependent on pharmaceuticals as of late. All right. So we've had a look at that. Everything looks to be good. We've handed in our surveys. We have some things, certainly. We don't have a lot of money. We can sell something, though, I believe. Uh, we'll see if anyone will actually buy it. Uh, ooh. Well, yeah, so this is all the kind of equipment that you can get if you actually get the money for it. So, I we gained that, uh, yes, the, the Firkin of Prisoner's Honey will sell for 20 Echoes. So, we can sell that off. And we are looking to get wine, but I don't think we can afford it yet. There were like 10 fucking bottles of it. So, I think we need to do far more exploration, look for far more port reports, and then hand them in for... Favors with the Admiralty and such. Uh, the song that you just heard was Ronald Jenkins' Red Lemonade. That's the answer to you. Okay. Well, we don't really have enough money to get anything worthwhile whatsoever, so I think we just, well, don't. We could buy more fuel, but we're pretty good on it. Flares, interesting. Illuminate the ocean. All right. Increases the speed of your firing solution. Okay. Well, I wouldn't want to burn through those too quickly. The writing of this is really nice, like, they've done a great job of ex massively expanding the the lore of this kind of universe. Very interesting. Alright, so what do I have in the hold? Well, we are sitting on a little bit of recent news for the colonies. So I, I want to trade that with a different port. We have 7 supplies and 13 fuel. That's going to be enough for us to go for a little while. So, I think we're good to leave. Okay. We shall launch from Fallen London and explore eastwards, I think. Because we still have that that mission for the Admiralty that we need to engage in. So we'll go and do that. 
game doesn't really have music, from what I can tell. It's mostly just ambient sound. I'll, I'll double check. I think the... Yeah, it supposedly has some music, just not a lot of it. Yeah, there's not much to really show you in the settings there. Alright. So, this easterly area around Hunter's Keep we haven't explored yet, so let's go and have a look. I assume it's another light boat over there. That was... That wasn't the one we docked with previously, was it? We could maybe trade them news. So let's we'll dock with them. And we'll gain more fragments of knowledge that we can trade for secrets. Alright. The game will be a full release in two days' time. The version that I'm using is the launch build. Okay, let's uh, speak to the crew. Okay, we trade it for one of the Z story. I'm not sure who needs the Z stories. But I'm sure we can find something. Okay, this is Rowena's Rocks. We keep looking around. So we're looking for ports to dock with and possibly things that we can fight and loot. You know, the basic pirates we can beat with the guns that we have. We've been to Mutton Island already. So if I turn around and then kind of just run up here. I'm going to go up to full speed. No reason for us not to right now. We've got plenty of fuel. Here, the slate black sea is like rippled glass, spiked with light from the roof. It's a little flavor. Oh, hello. And unfortunately, it exploded. All right, 31% chance of success. Ooh, this is... Uh, uh, we're going to lose. We lost two crew, 11 hull. Ugh. We pushed the engines too far. Oops. Not, not great. That was not a good idea. At all. Let's speak to the weasel. Perhaps he has advice. He does not. Let's uh, have a word with our mechanic, actually. Perhaps he can help. Nope. Evidently not. Actually, if I recall correctly, if I invite him to dine with me, it unlocks a quest. Thanks for the meal and the company. No, no wine. It makes me sleepy. Oh, oh yes, I can sleep too, too easily. That's the problem. He hesitates. There's a draft I take nightly to substitute for sleep. It works well enough and keeps me sane and upright, but I wish I could enjoy just one night's sleep. If you could help me. We need a clay man from Polythreme. We need a mirror catch box, and we need to go to Hunter's Keep. I'll explain why when we get there. No, I'm serious. I would owe you a great deal. Okay, so we need a clay man and a mirror catch box, and Hunter's Keep is right there, so... Okay. Ferret doesn't care. So we've taken some damage. Something awaits you in port. Okay, good to know. So I think this entire area is mostly just Hunter's Keep, but we'll double check. So let's be careful not to blow up the engines again. Apparently I don't have enough heart skill to really handle it when an emergency goes down, so it's probably a pretty bad idea. Ah, interesting. So this is where all your stats are, and each of them are kind of buffed up by people. So we can dock at Hunter's Keep. That is actually a port, so let's go visit that. There we go. Alright, let's see what they have to say for themselves. Okay. So we have a... We could spy on it. We have a 100% chance of success to spy on it. That seems reasonable. Why not do that? Piano music drifts across the terrace. You peer through a half-open French window into a grand parlour, grand in size, if a little reduced in style by dust and neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another fair-haired, but unmistakably her sister, sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring sorrowfully into the embers. Soon, she says. When the piano music falters and stops... We'll go hungry, and then the end will come for me, but not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush, if we don't speak of it. She frowns. Has she seen you at the window? You withdraw. Okay, so we got 40 fragments, and we now know something of Hunter's Keep, and we succeeded in a Vale's challenge. Cool. We could... Let's reconnoiter the island. Let's get a port report, and we could just go to the house. Why not? Let's just have words with them. 
A maid with smouldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlour where three young women await. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe and the cheerful one is Lucy. You're in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Okay, so we know more. All right. Now, hmm, who do we wish to eat with? Visit the cellar. There's a bunch of stuff that I clearly do not have. Oh, so this is the quest. But I need all the stuff in order to actually make that happen. Looks like I need to convince them with things as well. Okay. Cynthia is the eldest, melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic, sunny, restless, and prone to giggles, and soft-voiced, watchful, and unpredictable. Okay, let's go with the middle one. Lucy leans over and whispers to you confidently, a complex story about a butler, a pig, and an inheritance. You don't follow all the details of the plot, but somehow the pig ends up in an attic and the butler in a vicar's bed. Candles flicker, dishes enter and leave, and the wind butts gently at the window panes. By the time the plum pudding arrives, you're as cheerful as you've been in months. Okay. You now have the God of Z stone attention, and you lost three terror, and have been acquainted again with the Sisters of Hunter's Keep, and also lost eight hunger and gained one supply. Can't complain. Where are the sisters? Good question. Ah. They are indisposed. There will be no lunch today. Okay, so we can visit them for lunch sometimes. And if we get some news, we can we can tempt them out of their lair. Okay, cool. All right. Well, nothing to complain about there. That was beneficial for everybody. Seems reasonable. And I have uh, another word with our fellows here. I actually don't have enough. I don't have any secrets, so never mind. All right then. Okay, so that that's Hunter's Keep then. So we have some information on it. We could we can probably afford to travel north. I mean, we know a vendor bite is. There's obviously something over here, so. We'll launch the ship and get moving. Our hull's pretty badly damaged. That might be something we want to fix up. My supplies are at five. I'd probably burn down to about three supply, I think, if I use that. We're okay. As long as we don't fuck up, we shouldn't take too much more damage. My RNG is not... Oh, there's two bat swarms, I think. Oh, dear. This is actually bad news. We lost a crewman. Not ideal. Fuck, I missed him again. Come on. Okay. Cool, we got one of them. Our terror's at zero, so we can eat the bats again. Okay, we have another bat swarm here. They sound like seagulls. Like, bats don't make that kind of noise. Taking a few risky shots here. Okay, screw it. Let's just get up to maximum so we don't miss. There we go. Alright, eat the bats. It does have some limited music. Not a great deal. Well, honestly, like, uh, I listened to, I've started listening to audiobooks on Audible, and most of the voice actors don't do the accents. They do enunciation, but they don't try and do accents. So, it is something it could do. I will have some supplies, thank you very much, and we'll have some supplies here as well. Seagulls make loads of noise, are you kidding me? Have you ever seen seagulls? Holy fuck. There we go. So, two supplies. That'll actually let us fix the ship up with bats. Actually, the ship... Oh, we're, we're below 50%. We're going to have to get repaired in port now. That sucks. Okay, well, let's head to Pural Point and see if there's a port there. Maybe we can do something with that. Weapons are unlimited in ammunition. I assume there are, there are um, auxiliary weapons that are not, like torpedoes. But as it stands, yeah, the, you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, audiobooks and audio dramas are completely different things. Like, audiobooks, I, in, at least in my experience, there's not a lot of accents being done. I'm currently listening to Will Wheaton do uh, loading, uh, was it Ready Player One? And he doesn't do accents in that at all. And it's to totally fine. I've considered doing audiobooks, like, as a possible, like, career option after all of this, but I don't know. I could probably get away with it. I'm not a terrible speaker. Alright, cool. So we sunk them. There's some Cthulhu Mythos stuff going on. What do we get? A cache of curiosities. What's in the box? It is three supplies. Great. Cool. We're doing much better this time around than we were previously. I'll tell you that for a fact. Now, is Pural Point something you can dock at? Not by the looks of it. We're good on fuel. We're good on supplies. Our hull's taken some damage and we've lost a couple of crewmen, but it's not the worst.
you've gained a secret. Okay, so let's have a word with one of our officers then. We can improve our mirror skill. There we go. Buff it up a little bit. And I guess we can just keep going. We can discover some new areas. We also have a horn that will apparently potentially provoke nearby sea beasts. What is that? That seems big and scary. Oh, fuck my life. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Nope. Nope. That is huge. We are not fighting that. Not at all. Ah, yes. The most phallic of structures is here. Let's uh, avoid that. So there's some buoys around the place. It seems like if we go this way, we might find something. I'm a little wary of getting too far out of the way of London. Let's go full steam. Follow some of the buoys and see if we can find our way. Let's send the bat out, see what it can find. Hello. Port Palmerston. All right. We still haven't found that port that we were looking for for the Admiralty's mission. I'm not sure where the fuck that is. But this looks like a relatively large port. Let's uh, have a look at that. We can maybe get repairs here. All right. Go up to the crater. That sounds like a terrible idea, which is why we'll do it, but not quite yet. So you can buy supplies and devil bone dice. Interesting. And zoop. <laughs> for some reason. Right, it doesn't seem to have anywhere to repair. Probably I'll go back to London for that. Alright, explore the island. Let's go have a look around. A shape hurries up the path to you. Excuse me, excuse me, just a moment of your time. Zoles, my friend, a masked entreater, a uh, masked figure entreats you. Zoles, do you have Zoles? I miss them, Zoles. Let me pay you for them. I have no Zoles. I see, I see, I understand. Perhaps, perhaps another time you'll bring me Zoles. I, I might be here, or perhaps I will not. Well. Chat to the port folk about the Brimstone Convention. Is, if there was a revolution in hell and the aristocracy of devils fled here, here they plot in exile. Oh, this sounds like it will terribly not go wrong. There's also a 60% chance of maybe getting some stuff in the ruins. I'll take it. Ah, oh, we are fortunate, although we got a bunch of terrible stuff. A cellar full of bones. How many of them died down here? You could bury them in the ash, but they're so choked and jumbled, you might as well just leave them here below. The whole island is the unholiest imaginable ground anyway. At least you have souvenirs. Three grinning skulls and a carven crooked cross. We have an outlandish artifact. This belongs in a museum. Assuming that colonial imperialist appropriation for the purpose of hegemonic taximonization is a suitable response to the problem of intercultural contact. Which it probably is, because museums are magnificent institutes. <laughs> Oh, I like this. Okay, so we lost some supplies, but we gained lamentable relics, ten terror, and a memory of distant shores. Alright, so that went pretty well. We could dig again. Uh, no, I, I was lucky enough. Let's uh, have a word with these folks. Port report of Mount uh, Palmerston. Alright, should I go up? I don't think I can go up to the mountain by the looks of it now. Do you want to dig again? Uh, okay, we're going to take one more risk. 60% chance and two supplies. Okay, and we got the same by the looks of it. Cool. All right. Well, I mean, I should be able to trade these in London. No problem at all. Seems reasonable. Well, so we're down four supplies and six fuel. That should be enough to get us back to London. All right, then. We will launch and hopefully not encounter that giant fucking crab. All right. Set course for fallen London. Maximum warp. Maybe we might be able to catch something on the way back, but it's not looking likely. Full speed ahead. Let's try not to blow up the engines. Yes, my terror is starting to spike up a little bit. So we should be able to get rid of that in London. I want to go back to London for repairs and I need I need money. And the only way I'm going to get that is if I can trade some of the stuff that I've acquired. London probably wants the bones, I imagine. Yeah, that that uh, that port doesn't have a dry dock for repairs. I think only London does. 
if you're above 50% health, you can... Oh, shit. It's the giant fucking crab. If you're above 50% health, you can repair with supplies. But if you're below 50%, you've got to go back to London to fix up. That's my understanding of it at any rate. Yeah, it's not a bad little game so far. Like, it's got a lot of... It, it's. It, I think it relies a lot on... Do you like reading? Because if you don't like reading, then a lot of the game is kind of pointless. Because that's where a lot of the atmosphere comes from. There's these little things in the logbook. Like, here the wilder airs mingle with the airs of near reaches. Demo's Gate, named for a navigator lost above. How does his bones come below? Luminescent beasts like eyeless dolphins play in your wake. Now, it's just little pieces of detail here and there that's actually worth reading. Dust echoes even a sepia tint to the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. Hello. Well, uh, we can fight that crab at least. That crab's rubbish. There we go. And we're butchering it. <laughs> because as I said before, you get fuck all from those crabs, so you might as well eat them. But apparently it's all based on the lore of something called Fallen London, which I'm not familiar with. Oh, there's a web-based game of some sort, I believe. Oh. Yes, can we not get eaten by the crab? That would be lovely. Okay, where are we relative to London? All right. Let's burn the engines again. Oh, there's a pirate cutter. We can probably fight that without dying. Let's get a firing solution on the damn thing. Often seems like it's worth looting these things. Don't have broadside guns, but you can kind of fire at this angle, I think. That's my understanding. So, you don't have to be directly in front of them. Oh, there's fucking bats as well. Lovely. No one expressed interest in bats, thank you very much. What do we got? A cache of curiosities within is... Five supplies. Sweet. If you die, well, it's permadeath, but you, you leave a legacy for the next guy, basically. So you can take parts of their stats and sometimes crew members. The prick finger wastes. Interesting. All right, well, we're heading back to London. We need repairs. I guess we can steam up to full. Yeah, that's my first time playing. I start, well, obviously, like, I played a couple of rounds before I went on the stream with it. But the thing is, it's been in early access for ages, so I've ignored it. As I do with early access games for the most part. I am tempted to kind of wrap this up and then maybe do a little bit of Darkest Dungeon. I think I'm getting the gist of what this is all about. This is the kind of thing I'm just going to have to play more of. Alright, let's dock and see what we can get done. Hopefully there's nothing horrible happening with all of that stuff that I uh, accepted from, like, the mob. Or whatever it is. Alright. Cool, so we can collect messages from the Harbour Master. We have a free evening. A blind bruiser would like a word. All right. All sorts of things are going on, actually. Something changed in the north and someone wants to sign on. All right. All right, okay. Here he is. All right, I knew there'd be something involved in this. Good evening, Captain, and what a marvelous evening it is, if you don't mind me saying so. And given it is my impression that you are an obliging sort, I imagine you will not mind at all. And since you are so very obliging, perhaps you wouldn't mind making a little detour via Mount Palmerston with a few articles of cargo. If you happen to be in the area, the cheery man will of course cover your expenses for this trifling inconvenience. Yes! Of course, we can do that. You've been a nice fellow. I have no doubt that this is an absolutely terrible thing. It's a crate of exceptional human souls, obviously. Yeah, so we're going to be smuggling by the looks of it. Smuggle souls from London to Mount Palmerston. Okay. We can do that. Ah. A visit to Clathamount's tattoo parlor. You're a real Zayla now, after all. Okay. We can get a tattoo. You can go to one of those tobacco and prey places by the docks, but the prices at Clathamount's are reasonable, and his daughter's a real artist. But what sign will you choose? Okay. So that gives me skills, basically. All right. 
We will, uh, I think it's one echo. To, I think we'll gain uh, two in mirrors. There we go. The unflinching eye, the gold needle pricks. Lily Clathamont hums. At the end of the process, the tattoo's gaze is so expressive you almost expect it to blink. You're almost hesitant to look your own arm in the eye. There we go. We have a sign. And we lost 25 terror in the process. So there we go. Ah, an urchin. Okay, what's he have to say? I have need of a reliable agent. Failing that, an inventive one. Here are my requirements. He has very specific needs, but he'll pay much better than market rates, and he won't ask you how he came by these things. Okay. He has a request. Speak to him further. I will, yes. And I actually can't do either of those things. Wow. If I bring him seven strange catches, he'll give me 500 echoes. And if I imagine, if I get seven hunting trophies, oh, I'll, I mean, I'll happily get both of those if I can. I just don't know where to find them. I, I remember uh, killing some sea monster and getting something. So the writing in this game is exceptional, incidentally. It's really, really good. It's the standout part of it. If you're the kind of person that doesn't read this stuff, then I imagine this is going to be an infuriating waste of your time. Okay. All right, cool. So that's that. Into London we go. I'd love to visit, like, the... I've got all this shit to get rid of. I'm not sure what to do. Hmm. Well, first things first, we need to repair. Okay. Well, we're not going to be getting very far with that, are we? We don't have enough favors with the Admiralty. Can we repair? All right. They will repair some of your hull. For how much? Difficult to say. 75% chance to not fuck up. Okay. And we don't have the wretched Mog with us. So, Oh. An unfortunate tide of events. Oh. They're, you're actually talking about literal rats. Okay. Rats sweep over your ship like a tide. Day or night, their tiny tools click. Your crew step over them cautiously. Unfortunately, some complex rat vendetta is at play. Warring rat families decide to use your ship as a battleground. They're quite well behaved about it. The damage is minimal, but an unfortunate passing zealot gets a rat bullet through the eye and drowns in the Thames. You protest, but the contract is clear. There's an exception for ocular perturbations. Fuck. Well, I guess they fixed my ship. They destroyed all my supplies and killed the crewman, and now I'm terrified. Great. Thank you very much, you fuckers. Uh, well, that's not brilliant. We <laughs> the writing in this game is fucking brilliant. I'm sorry, that is great. Okay, can we sell some of the shit that we've got? We could sell... Oh, that's an engine. We probably don't want to sell that. We had a bunch of things, and I'd love to know if we can sell any of them. It seems like probably... Well, we should sell advice for captains. That's 50 echoes, because we don't need that anymore. Well, the Wolf Stack Exchange will let me buy mushroom wine, but I don't have enough of it. But the stuff that I picked up... I wonder... It's a bunch of bones. I wonder if the place that I want to go is the the kind of undead island maybe that that's a good place to go because what i've got in my hold right now i have six lamentable relics and two outlandish artifacts i mean they can't be sold in london markets i'm not sure if they can be sold anywhere really what are they this is the problem of, like just not knowing what half the shit actually is yeah all right Well, let's go and uh, have a little carouse at the Wolfstag docks. And let's try not to fuck it up. Ah, a good night out. Sea shanties, good companionship, and the warmth of a pub fire. Recent news. And lost a bunch of money, and lost a bunch of terror, but got a fortune card. Okay. And we should hire more crew, because they're all fucking dead. Well, actually, they're not. We have seven. We don't need any more, I guess. Anyone that we... Oh, we can recruit the Irrepressible Cannoneer, it would seem, if we wish to pay for them. And I think I do. Yeah. The Cannoneer is a gunnery officer who substantially increases your iron stat. Okay. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. This is my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on the shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? I will. I will pay for you. 
Although I'm now kind of low on supplies and sort of panicking a bit. But maybe the Admiralty might be able to give me some information. So, all right, cool. So we now have a new officer. Gunnery officer, the Irrepressible Cannoneer, who I'm going to have words with. Okay, I don't have... I need torpedoes in order to eat with her. Okay, I'm not going to do that. All right, let's uh, go to the Admiralty Survey office and see if we can get... All right, cool. We actually have quite a bit of information to give them. The Brimstone Convention, they trouble me. Ah, oh, we get some fuel and some favors. That's always nice. Ah, and there seems to be an unlock there too. 40 echoes for that. Nice. Good, good, good. And we can talk about Hunter's Keep as well. Not so many echoes, but I'll take the favors. All right, asked to speak to the Dark Speckled Admiral. Yes. Hmm, apparently I'm to show you in any way. Very well. He ushered into his office off Mansion's Pyre, a cramped room with a vast desk. He surveys you across that desk. Ah, yes, Merchant Captain of whom we hear such complicated things. The Admiral will purchase intelligence from you. Okay. Hmm. Submit port reports. I believe we actually have submitted all of them. But So we've now unlocked this guy, who I assume is probably going to let us get more stuff. Hmm. So we could ask him to help with the subsistence. I'm more concerned about my supply count at the moment, although... Yeah. Visit the... Ah, damn, I only have 31 hearts. Apparently I'm a dickhead, which is why they won't give me anything. We can try, though. Just give it a shot. Alright. We gain two fuel. We It's not great, but we gain two fuel. Okay. Alright. And I still have no idea what half this shit actually does. But there you go. I'll take a quick break. And I think when I come back, uh, we're going to switch over. Maybe we'll do a little bit of Darkest Dungeon just for the sake of it. I mean, so far, I'm really interested in this. I'm going to play some more of it. Obviously, this is for WTF is later on. But this is actually a pretty fun game. It, it, again, it's a lot of reading. A lot of reading. So if you're not into that, then you probably will not like this at all. But this is quite enjoyable. I'm looking forward to exploring more of it. All right, take a quick break. And I'm just going to check if I actually have Darkest Dungeon installed. I think I do. Uh, I don't. That is very silly. Okay, well, I need to download it. I wonder how large it is. Hopefully not too big. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll mess around a little bit. This, just for funsies. We're not going to actually assess this game until it's actually released. But I'm going to play a little bit because I'm curious. I've never played it before, so that might be interesting. Okay, let me let me just get the code for this. And then I can, I'll install it during the break, if it's not too large. Hopefully, I mean, I have a 50 meg down. It's 900 megs. Oh, that should be no problem at all, then. Dark's dungeon code. There we go. Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little bit of that, just for entertainment's sake, and then I'll sign off. Yeah, 800 meg, no problem at all. Okay, we'll take a short break while this is going on. You can listen to some music, and I'll be right back.